I had looked at Good Vibe Squad and I had looked at this company and this company was a little bit cheaper. So I decided to try that. And I wish I would have not done that. And just start, knowing what I know today, I would have started with Good Vibe Squad right off the bat. What's going on, guys? So we are live today, and Tom is kind enough to take time out of his day to share his experience working with the Good Vibe Squad. How are you doing, Tom? Really good, Mick Billy. Awesome. So um, I'll let you just take this away. Uh, why don't you just kind of real quick introduce yourself, Tom, you know, your name, where you're from, and what do you do? So my name's Tom Ria. I am with a company called CMG Home Loans. I'm based out of Federal Way, Washington. I'm a branch manager and a loan officer. So Tom, uh, I know we were kind of discussing this uh, earlier. Could you just walk me through like what made you decide to, you know, work with the Good Vibe Squad in the first place? So I've experienced some different league companies in the past. And in roughly February of 2022, looking at what was happening in the market and changes to business with potentially all the factors that were going on, I really investigated the Good Vibe Squad liked the information that I heard and thought that adding a direct-to-consumer piece to my business would be super important going forward, especially for purchase business. Okay. So you mentioned, uh, you know, direct-to-consumer purchase business. I know that that's a very important thing, especially now with our current market. Can you walk me through, like, what did the, your business look like before, before working with like the Good Vibe Squad? So before working with Good Vibe Squad, my business was centered primarily around real estate agent referrals. And of course, like any loan officer, chasing the real estate agents and, you know, you're only as good as your last transaction. So that represented it roughly 45 to 50% of my business. The other was refinances. And with refinances probably going away due to rising rate environment, my thought was that I needed to up my game, so to speak, with purchase business. And in being able to try and build a broader base, I mean, I've been in the business for 30 years, 23 years at the same company. And believe it or not, I've had real estate agents that had been active in the market and retired. And so those relationships basically kind of, I had to find something to replace them. So being able to talk with potential buyers and changing the script and being able to take a buyer to an agent and asking for reciprocal business was appealing to me. And that is why Good Vibe Squad was something that I was attracted to. So, Tom, can you elaborate, like, what is the difference, you know, working with other lead companies versus working with the Good Vibe Squad? The biggest thing that I have always thought about lead companies is, are they an aggregator? So, are they developing one lead and sending that out to three different mortgage entities or mortgage loan officers? And there are a number of companies that are out there that were doing that. And a lot of cases was the people wouldn't even pick up the phone. And what I find currently with Good Vibe Squad and the Hero Home program is that I am talking to them directly versus it being an aggregate. People actually pick up the phone and talk to you. I love it, man. You know, we've been working together for over a year now, uh, Tom. So how is that experience looking like? You know, if we want to talk about like results, like w what does that look like for you? Two things that I think are super important is there is an incredible support network for me as a loan officer and the Hero Home Program or Good Vibe Squad. So there is a lot of sales training that is associated with our relationship. And so originally when I started, honestly, and I've told you this before, I was overwhelmed because I think I got so many people and, and so many responses to leads that I had too many to be able to strategically follow up on. It's not instant gratification, meaning that you will find some leads in which 
they will be ready to close right away. But there are a lot more of these leads that you're nurturing that might be 60 days out. In a lot of cases, they're very early in the process. And so they haven't necessarily gotten a real estate agent put together. And in, in, in many cases, they're just investigating whether or not purchasing a home is viable. And so those relationships have definitely given me great return on closed transactions. And it is something that I continue every day to strive to be better at in getting contact with them and being able to convert those leads. I love it, Tom. Can you talk about like your experience even on like leveraging our system to get realtor partners? Like what does that look like for you and how has that been effective for you? I've done some research on some of the real estate agents that are in my particular market that maybe aren't, you know, significant producers, but are closing business in maybe $12 million to $16 million annually type of scenario. And I've approached them with a pre-approved buyer. So I have a very specific example of that. This agent works for a pretty big organization, national organization. And I met him at a conference and I kind of did some research on him and found out that even in today's market, he is closing transactions. He had an incredible start to 2023. And then I called up the agent and said, hey, could we get together and have coffee? I went through and learned about his business, what he's doing positive, how his volume has been. And at the end of it, I said, I have a pre-approved buyer. Would you be interested in helping this buyer? And I'm telling you that his response to that has been phenomenal. You know, I asked him about his preferred lender and how long he'd been working with her and how that business was. When was the last time she delivered to you a fully underwritten conditional approval buyer for you just to go out and sell? And he said, never. And so I gave him that buyer. They're working together to try and get a home under contract. And he's made several mentions since that he's got to find business for me and reciprocate. And it's just a win-win scenario. So taking that and multiplying it by other agents that I'm most interested in, you know, it gives you a way to go in and have something different to talk about. And that's how that system is working for me. I love it. I love it, Tom. Actually, last week we were hanging out in Texas in a live event. And guys, uh, uh, I, I hope that you don't mind me sharing this, but like you've been in the business for so long that you have four numbers in your MLS number, which I found really uh, pretty amazing. But really this idea of if you are very successful in this business for this long, you have to constantly reinvent yourself. Can you kind of talk about that, Tom? Because I really appreciated that. And I think other people is going to really appreciate what is your mindset there and how does Good Vibes go on? How does our system get you with this mindset of reinventing your mortgage business? Cycles happen in the mortgage industry and if you're at it long enough, you go through different ways to develop business. You look at how much the level of technology has changed our industry and changed our business. What am I going to do in, in this particular type of market? What am I going to do to be able to continue to do business and get the right type of people. So trying to figure out an avenue to be the director of finding people buying is what was enlightening to me and being able to flip the script and work directly with those consumers build trust, build relationships, and then being able to refer those to real estate agents to find homes and asking for business from them. But this just adds a different layer to be able to show an agent that, you know, as a loan officer, I'm being productive in developing buyers and in partnering with you. It's really more a 50-50 relationship instead of a you give me your business type thing. I love it, Tom. And I really appreciate, you know, like just your mindset, the the way that you approach things. I have a lot of respect about what you do, uh, Tom. I'll wrap this up uh, with one last question. Like just knowing what you know now, what are the things that you truly value from like working with Good Vibe Squad? And what is that core piece that you feel like you cannot live without now? 
So that's a super easy question to answer. One of the predominantly number one reasons why I like what this is, is because of you, McBilly, and because of Preston, and because of the team that is in the background that is here to support you with accountability calls, being able to have somebody to go through your CRM system and tell you, you need to improve this. And this is a better way to attack this issue. The CRM in itself and the functionality of the CRM between the automated systems, the marketing material that is professionally produced, that is communication that is distributed to potential own buyers. Those core elements above and beyond the fact that you have a number of leads that come in monthly, whatever it is, 50 a month or sometimes 65, gives you the conversations to have and, and how you can maximize those conversations is part of the education part that is done with Preston and McBilly and peer-to-peer. -peer. So those elements alone really for the right loan officer keep you focused give you best traits that ultimately you guys are here to help us close more business, make more money, have a better quality of life. So those are key elements I would suggest to any potential loan officer that's looking for this type of assistance. Those would be the primary reasons why I would choose to do this. 